How is everyone doing? Super excited and fired to be here talking with each and every last one of you all. But y'all know how I like to start this thing. I do one of three things to me right now. I need you to like, share, and comment because you never know who might need to hear this. And the whole purpose of me coming to you each and every week is to become the river and not the reservoir. So this provides you all with value so you can go out there and provide value to others. Now, last week I was sharing some life lessons with you to pretty much develop your mindset and totally switch your perspective on life. But if you got a pen and pad hand, I highly suggest that you use it because this is going to be part two. I had a lot to give you last week, but this is going to pretty much bring everything back around and so you can implement it in all different aspects of your life. But number one being, never stop being a student. You have to always be willing to learn because I'm telling you, learning is a journey. It has a lot of things that's negative that you can take from and a lot of things that's positive that you can build on. But you have to remain a lifelong learner because knowledge, it brings relevance and great opportunities for you to advance in life. So keep learning throughout life. Always be a student. If you want to stay ahead, now if you don't want to stay ahead, keep thinking that you know everything. I'm telling you because your self-education can last a lifetime because it's never, it's never too late to learn something. A student of life is one who has the willingness to learn and improve, but also do. I always talk about taking the initiative and taking some type of action in life. So as you being a student, once you get the lesson, you always take action on it in order to improve it. No matter how old or successful you become, you must continue to keep an open mind for learning if you want more out of life. Next point being comparison. Comparison is not good. I think I had did a whole segment, video segment on comparison. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go and look through my archives and go and check it out. You will never be happy when you compare your journey to other people. I'm going to say that again. You will never be happy when you compare your journey to other people's. You probably heard this quote, and I think it was Theodore Roosevelt, at some point in your life. I know you probably heard this quote. Comparison is the thief of all joy. Comparison is the thief of all joy. Now, comparison is not just some harmless mindset that we fall into every now and then. It's much more dangerous than that. Because you think about it, just to allow it into your, your life and your worldview is to allow it to take something from you. I'm going to give you a couple things about what comparison is. And first being, comparison is dramatic. When you compare your circumstances to someone else's, you typically come to one of the two conclusions. Write this down. It's either you think you're better than someone else or worse than someone else. I'm saying it again, it's either you think you're better than someone else or you're worse than somewhere else. Someone else. There is no in between. Comparison is a terrible, a terrible measure, measuring stick. I want you to consider the world of social media right now at the moment. It can often look like everyone else. On your feed, they got it all figured out or life is just great for them. But I really want you to think about this. How often do people capture their failures on Facebook and Instagram? How often do they tweet their insecurities? Think about it. For better or for worse, we are all putting on our best faces out there because sometimes at any point we are presenting a false reality of how things really are. You don't know how things are going on behind those filters or those pictures. Everybody go through life. And I'm telling you, life be life. Everybody go through it. So don't find yourself comparing your picture to somebody else's picture because yours haven't developed yet. Now, I know for a fact that comparison is the worst roadmap ever. You, yes, you are on a unique road when it comes to your ambitions. But when you let comparison change what you address, then you suddenly have everything in your life get rerouted. We throw our vision out to replace it with one that is totally inauthentic to who we are. Comparison, I'm telling you, if you don't take nothing else from me right now tonight, comparison shapes 
your confidence and it leads to the question your own choices and it convinces you to take turns into your own life that you ought to be staying on course. You need to stay on course with your life. Don't worry about what everybody else have going on in their life because their GPS don't operate off the same thing that your GPS operate off of. Everybody's going to a different address, but the thing is, when do you arrive? Number 10, invest in yourself. Invest in your knowledge. Invest in yourself. It yields the best return on life. Now, this means you putting in time, money, and energy into improving your current and your future life. This is the best investment that you could possibly do. Instead of focusing on things that will not increase your wealth. Now, I'm not talking about wealth. I'm not talking about monetary things. I'm talking about the things and the knowledge that you can pick up over time. I want you to look at ways of expanding your knowledge and make your life better. When you focus on improving yourself and reaching your goals, you will notice a positive domino effect on your finances, your career, your business, your health, your happiness, and in your relationships. Even though you might not see the impact on your investment right away, because anything you invest in, it takes time to get a return on your investment. So investing on investing in yourself can greatly impact your life over time. But one of the best investments in yourself is your circle. Next point being, upgrade your circle of friends once in every like every once in a while. You have to go through a filtering process. When you go through a filtering process, you taking out all the dirty to make it clean. If if you want to make some type of headway in life, you have to be able to evaluate the circle that's around you because your environment is key. And the quality of your surrounding has a big impact on your success. It has a major impact on your success. If you are uncomfortable in your circle right now that you used to enjoy, congrats. You might just be leveling up in life. Now, I can tell you that it do sucks to leave people behind in life, but you must understand not everyone can come with you on your journey, losing friends can be a big sign of growth. And I'm telling you, growth will cost you some things. And it will cost you some friends who you thought was friends. But I'm telling you, do not beat yourself up. When you come to this point, it might just be that you might not be relatable anymore. Success will expose you to new environments and new environments will bring you to new horizons. Your success, it could be your success reminds people of what they lack. Your achievements could make people feel some type of way, especially if they start at the same place as you and you to advance much further than them. Everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. The only thing that's different between you and another person is how much effort and, and productivity that you put into your 24 hours. Or it could just be you following your dreams that keep you busy. Building a successful life will keep your plate full. I'm telling you, you have no time for BS. You might hurt some feelings when you no longer are available like you used to be. Because availability, I'm telling you, the more you are available, the more things that life and people can take from you. So if, if you hear me right now, gain a new circle so you won't be boxed in. Gain a new circle so you won't be boxed in. If you realize this in time, this next point being, nobody owes you anything. Not no brother, uncle, sister, mother, daddy. Nobody owes you anything. It's all up to you. You are responsible for what you do in life. Whether you go to college, you start a business, you graduate, you get a job, you get married, and you start your own life, whether you're successful or you a failure, it's all up to you. The earlier that you realize that nobody owes you nothing and you take responsibility for your life, the further you go in life. So start taking responsibility for your life right now. And to add on to that is try to live within your means. When you take responsibility for your life, try to live within your means. Because if you live beyond your means, now this basically like you trying to get some type of validation from people. And y'all just heard me last week when I was talking about validation. Stay far away from validation. As my partner Ken would say, validation is for parking, not for people. Don't live your life trying to please everyone. My mama always told me, don't go through life trying to be a people pleaser. Please yourself. 
then people will follow. Just like if you buy a house or you rent, rent within your means. So you can have more that mean to you. Stop buying stuff that you don't need with money that you don't have to impress people that you don't like. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say it again for the people that's in the back. Stop buying stuff that you don't need with money that you don't have to impress people that you don't like. I, I, could, really just, I could really just stop it right there. Just so everybody can get it. Last point that I really want to point out in this part two series is don't fear anyone, but respect everyone. Treat the janitor just like the CEO. Everybody's on the same playing field. Do not do anything that you don't want to. That's another one. Do not do anything that you don't want to. Live your life to please yourself and God. Yes, God. I'm a very spiritual brother. And I'm pretty sure everybody can fit it up off me. But do your best to please yourself and God. That's the only two people that you need to be pleasing in life. The only time and the only person that can cause you to compromise is your spouse. Which plays a big part. But I really want everybody looking at this video right now. I don't know your religion. I don't know your background. But serve God with a pure heart and love your neighbor as you do yourself. And I'm, I'm telling you, I, I really want everybody to remember this. Pride goes before a fall. The greatest key to happiness is finding favor before God. Finding favor before God and treating all people, or treating everyone equal, all people equal. Rich or poor, high or low, treat everyone that you come across equal because I'm telling you, that plays a big part of your character. Your character plays a big part of your success. Always operate within a principle. The fact that you are basically no better than others. Everyone was created equal. Everyone has the same ability to do big things in life, but don't don't consider yourself higher than another individual. Hope you took some type of value from all these points that I actually stated out and you start to implement them in your life. So if you missed part one, go back and look at part one and then mend it back together with part two. And if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you doing? Subscribe, subscribe now so you never miss any type of value being dropped on a week-to-week -week basis. And if you haven't heard me and my brother's podcast, the Mind Report podcast, definitely go and check it out. We are streaming everywhere that you could possibly find us. And definitely reach out to us on Instagram with any kind of questions, requests, or whatever the case might be at the Mind Report. But y'all have a good one. Hope you take these principles and start to switch around your mindset because everything starts and ends with the mindset. Once you can get your mindset in order, you start to see a different perspective of life. And once you start to see a different perspective of life, you start to see life unfold in positive ways for you. The more you want your life to change, the more you need to change your perspective on life. But y'all have a good one. And let's kick this week off right. All right.